And at this point, we have some additional letters to present on behalf of Mr. Warner. The first one is, is from Kalisha Randy Ruthruff, and it reads as follows. To whom it may concern, my name is Kalisha Randy Ruthruff, and I have known Andre Warner and his family for several years. He has helped my daughters and watched over them when they were with him and his sister and loves his family very much. Thanks, Kalisha. My name is Janine Vijegas. This is the second letter. I'm a 42-year-old single mom of four. My children and I met Mr. Andre Warner in 2010 through a mutual trusted friend. Andre is a big-hearted person. When we first met, I was short on gas to go to work that night. Andre handed me $10. He said, don't worry about it. Just get yourself to work. Throughout these 10 years, Andre has been my person to cry on, the person who always encourages you to pick your head up as high as you can and give it your all, no matter what anyone thinks. Opinions will always be out there. My son, who was nine years old at the time, been through a lot of emotional things from my husband leaving, struggling in school. Mr. Andre Warner gave my children confidence, confidence to believe in their self and to believe in me. Andre Warner has sat in my car talking to me all night just because I felt scared of a new job or a new move. He is someone I can always count on. I can call him and he just knows if something's wrong, Andre will always get you to smile and stop stressing so hard. Thank you for your time. Sincerely, Janine Vijegas. The next letter is from Jabari Parker. Mr. Parker has four felony convictions. Jabari Parker, to whom this may concern. First of all, my name is Jabari Parker. I would like to speak on the, th on the things that I know about Andre Warner. Was always the joking type. He always did spontaneous things to put a smile on others' faces. When you need him, he would truly give the shirt off his back. He would tell jokes about everybody around him. He loved to play a lot. I have knew him ever since the ninth grade. I remember I would always meet up with him every weekend and we would go to the woods out in the ranches and we would just talk about how we wanted to do prosperous things with our lives before I was a business owner for a lumber service. The next letter is from Jabbar Hazley. <clears throat> Mr. Hazley has two felonies and one misdemeanor crime of dishonesty. Jamar Hazley. Every time I see him, he is always full of joy and a very positive person. He is always trying to help someone who needs help, and he's a very good friend of mine. Jamar Hazley. The next letter is from Larissa Coleman. There's so many things I could write down in this letter to explain how Andre is. He's like a teddy bear that has so much feelings. He's a big part of my life and I'm thankful he's in it. We dated at one time and he's got a big heart. I met him years back and he was the biggest supporter of mine. I had issues with my father and any time I called on Andre to come get me or talk to me because I was crying or I was so frustrated. He was always there for me. We ended up together 
and he always made sure I woke up with a smile on my face and made me feel loved every day. Throughout the time we were talking and dating, I've seen multiple interactions with his friends and family, and his friends would call his phone any time of the night, and Andre would always jump up and make sure they were taken care of. Whether it was a ride or they needed a couple dollars, he was there. His family, boy, he loves them and would do anything for them. I got to take his sister to a hair appointment and he was at work and I called him to let him know what we were doing. He said, please don't let nothing happen to my baby. She's in your care right now. I'm not playing, girl. He, always, he was always the one to talk things out no matter how bad I got on his nerves. He always told me I love you to the moon and back and never forget that I won't. In a way, he's my best friend even after we drifted apart. I still try to be there for him, and he's still always trying to protect me and my feelings. He has so much ambition and goals he wants to reach and talks about his future and how he wants to be a good dad and be there for his niece. And no, I'm not saying this because I'm an ex of his. I truly believe he can better himself and do good things. He loves deeply, no matter how he loves deeply. To whom it may concern, this is the last letter, and this is from Carlissa Steck. Uh, Andre and I met in the late summer of 2008. I lost my first son in May of that year. It was the toughest time of my life, but when we met, my life got a little bit brighter. He always made it his mission to make sure I was smiling and laughing anytime we were in contact. He became my best friend. We talked about any and everything. He was always my listening ear when I felt down. In 2011, I had my next son, Andre's godson. He's the best godfather and was my biggest help and support when he was born. Any time I needed a babysitter, he was there with no hesitation. When my full-time babysitter couldn't do it anymore, he moved in with me and watched my son while I worked overnight and assisted in an assisting, at an assisted living facility. He always helped me so much as he could as much as he could from cooking to cleaning, making bottles and diaper changes. He took the initiative to still watch him while I slept during the morning hours. When I couldn't buy my son Christmas presents, Andre drove from Polk County to Pinellas County to bring Elijah a few presents and make his day. He truly is the best person I've ever had in my life. I had my daughter in 2015. He hasn't gotten the chance to meet her in person due to me living out of state, but I am 100% sure that if he had the chance to, she would love him. He is also her godfather. There isn't a thing I could ask him for, and he wouldn't give me. Andre has helped me with bills, groceries for my child, gas in my car. When I didn't have a car, he would give me free rides when I needed it, watching my child, buying essentials for my house, moving a few times when my mother had a heart attack in 2010, she and my stepfather came to live with us. Andre lived with me at the same at, at the time. He wouldn't let her do anything. He made sure she was resting. He made her coffee every morning and made sure she took her medicine before I woke up. He is and always has been my best friend. He never put my child or I in any danger. He was our protector and the only person I could trust for a long time. Thanks for reading Carlissa Steck.